Welcome back savages to another video. What if I told you you could increase the speed on this Nerdminer from 77 kilohash a second to over 250 kilohash? That's an increase of almost 225%. So recently I was made aware of this blog post on the jinglemining.com website and in this blog post it says brand unrestricted lottery miners flashing for free. So in this post, they claim that they can actually increase the hash rate to 250 kilohash a second, which is hard to believe because currently with the nerd miner, 77 kilohash is the maximum you can get. So anyway, let's read on. These are the devices that are definitely supported in this list right here, but there may be others that work, so they've just put not limited to, so it's worth giving it a try if it's not in this list right here. So this promotion started at the beginning of May 2025, so they've just got a countdown timer for how long this software will be free. So in order to get access to this software, you need to complete some information on a page, so you just click here to enter. When you get on this page, you need to log in using one of these, email, Facebook, Google or X. Once you've logged in, just complete these tasks here and provide your contact information. After doing the contact information, I went on the Telegram and I was able to download the files that we need to flash the software to our device. The good thing is they also provide a flashing tutorial, so we'll go ahead and click on that. So we're on the flashing tutorial right here. You can skip the top section. This is just to connect and set up the Wi-Fi. This is done after you flash the device. So this is the flashing tutorial. So step number one of the flashing tutorial, first of all, connect the device to your computer using the USB cable. In my case, it's a USB-C cable, as it mentions here, so I've gone ahead and connected it. Also, make sure that the USB-C cable is a data transfer cable. If it's just a charging cable, this isn't gonna work. For the next bit, we need some software that'll be able to transfer those bin files that we downloaded from the Telegram onto the device. And for that, you normally need a flashing tool. So they've got a link right here to their own one called Flash Download Tool. So just go ahead and click that and it should download it directly to your PC. So here it is downloaded as a zip file. So click on it and extract the file from that to a location on your computer. Once you've done that, you'll get a folder similar to this. Double click on the folder and there's our Flash Download Tool. So just go ahead and double click that. So we're on step number three here where we have to pick the chip type. So on the chip type, click on the drop down button right there and change it to ESP32 S3. Then move down to the load mode and change the UART to USB. And then click on OK. So next you're gonna get the full interface of the flashing download tool appear. And we need to add these files into these locations here. To add the files, you simply click the three dots there, go to the location where you downloaded those bin files and put them in the order that is mentioned in this screenshot. Also, don't forget to set these addresses as shown here as well. So I've entered the files into the list here on the left hand side. We've put the addresses here on the right hand side. The only other things we need to do is change the SPI mode to QIO and select the COM port associated with that USB that we've connected. In my case, it's COM7. For you, it might be different. Once we've done that, we just need to tick these four files here at the top. This basically selects which files are going to be flashed to the device and then click on start. And you'll see a green progress bar as these files are written to the device. So the flashing is now complete, so we're on to the next part. I've got the USB-C cable ready to plug in. Let's see what happens. And there we go. We are now officially using Jingle Miner. Now this isn't going to work immediately. I need to connect this up to the Wi-Fi. So we'll go back to the tutorial and I'll show you what to do there. For this next part, we'll be doing it from a mobile phone. So make sure, first of all, that the Jingle Miner is switched on and displaying this screen right here. So on the mobile phone, we're going to connect to this hotspot here called Jingle Miner, enter the password and we should get to a Wi-Fi setting screen. 
On the Wi-Fi settings, we're going to enter the SSID of our own Wi-Fi and password. Pool URL, it's up to you which one you decide to select. In the port number, pick the associated port that goes with it. In the BT address, you need to enter your own Bitcoin wallet address in there. And that can be from an exchange or a ledger, for example. Then finally, just enter the time zone that you're in currently. Once you've done all those things, click on save. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I've just gone to my Wi-Fi settings and I can see a hotspot called Jingle Meyer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So it's asking for a password. So just enter it in here. Click on join. It'll automatically open up a web page taking you to the Wi-Fi settings. Hopefully. There we go. From here, we're going to enter configure Wi-Fi. In the SSID, pick your hotspot. But please bear in mind that it can only be a 2.4 gigahertz hotspot. It won't work on 5 gigahertz. In the pool URL, it's entirely up to you which one you want to use. I'm going to be using public pool just for the sole reason I was using public pool when I had the nerd miner running and it worked fine. So I'm going to stick with that. If you're using public pool, you need to change the pool part as well. And it is 21496. In the next bit, you need to enter your Bitcoin address and you can change your time zone as well. So I'm just going to change that. One thing I've just noticed here at the bottom is some experimental features. So I'm just going to tick that box and then click on save. So there we go. It looks like it's saved our config to the device. We're back at the Jingle Miner. Our Wi-Fi config is saved. And this is the moment of truth. Let's plug in the USB-C cable. Forty kilohash, hundred and forty-eight. So it's already better than the Nerd Miner. Two hundred, two ten, creeping up, and there we go. Looks like it's settled on round about two hundred and fifty-two. So there you go, savages. How about that? Jingle Miner with two hundred and fifty kilohash a second, totally blowing Nerd Miner out of the water. On the same hardware. I don't know how they've done it but they've done it. Just to be a bit cautious I am going to leave the fan connected and I'll leave a link in the description to the video where I install this fan onto this device but as you can see right there it's stabilized on around about 250 kilo hash. So I just want to say in finishing well done Jingle Miner team that's an excellent accomplishment 250 kilo hash is exceptional well done. So there you go, savages. That is how you upgrade your lottery miner from the original 77 kilohash a second up to 250 kilohash. That's a 225% increase. So I'll leave all the links to Jingle Mining in the description. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Please subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you savages on the next one.